so you guys know that i was gonna test um bring out some paint here i was gonna test minus pad eight minus pad eight versus fuji poly thermal pads um and these i wasn't i wasn't really into the whole thermal pad game until this whole junction temperature thing came up i'm assuming that everyone else was kind of the same because you can't like thermal pads are sold out everywhere dude it's insane like like everyone's everyone's on this thermal pad fucking i don't know what you'd call it journey the thermal pad journey can't buy g lids anyway um you can't buy them dude i i, I searched everywhere for g lids everywhere um I'll leave that there for now. So, minus pad eight, obviously, which I didn't know at the time. I was just buying these because I like thermal grizzly stuff, but I didn't know at the time that these were eight watt per meter Kelvin. I think that's the right measurement, right? And then the Fuji Poly ones that I got from Amazon. You know what? I should go get. I should go get us some of the sheets. Um, these ones are 17 watt per meter Kelvin. You know what? I am gonna go get them. One sec, I gotta show you guys. One sec. Okay. So I already used some of the thermal grizzly, but I should still be able to show you guys for scale, right? So cameras over here so check this out this piece here and it kind of finish it's like imagine it being a perfect a perfect square right this i want to say was 28 dollars for this entire thing now check out the fuji poly look at look at that size for scale okay this small little square was 36 dollars so you get $10 cheaper, four times as much than the Fuji Poly. So this, so it's insanity, dude. It's actually bad shit. So, so uh, we can say this one is one quarter, four times. We'll just say four times the price for 816 for double the performance double okay we'll say double the watt meter kelvin right so right away you're gonna be able to tell that it's not worth it because just because the price is too high it's too high right um oh my god it's not just gigabyte dude it's not gigabyte they just use shitty thermal pads from the factory in general you know what i mean so so i tested these ones first and I already showed you guys my junction temperatures were 82 Celsius, right? And then I swapped to these ones last night. So this was this one was uh, 82 C junction after two hours of mining, right? And well, look at that two hours of mining. Let's check what this. Let's check what the Fuji Polys are at, right? And this was. 1150 megahertz on the ram i want to say i couldn't go any higher on this card and oh yeah i'm not down with that whole putty shit dude although i do have some putty i want to test to some like the aftermarket putty that's like 10 watts per meter kelvin but i'm gonna be trying to use that stuff to get rid of coil wine that'll be a future content i have so many content ideas man i'm gonna like putty around the chokes and shit to try and get rid of the coil wine and then Let's check this out here. Fuji Polys for four times the price. And two of these was just enough for a 3090. Two of these. And I had maybe like half of this left over. So you're looking at $70 to do a 3090, I think. Let me check the let me check the prices here. What's up, Chris? um amazon fuji poly 
Good Christ, dude. This was the one. I got a one millimeter. Are they gone? There it is. Oh, $27. Sorry. 27, not 37. $27. So to do a 3090, it's $52 to do an entire 3090. So let's check what the doctor says. Where the heck is it? Yeah, 72. 10 Celsius drop. Actually crazy, dude. I was not expecting that. 10 Celsius drop. Going from the minus pad eights to the Fuji Poly 17s. So. So. Uh, is that worth it? Did you increase power limit? No, the settings are the same. Why would you increase power limit for uh, mining? That's not, that's, that's, you want to do the opposite, right? This is mining. Like the gaming doesn't make this as hot, right? So 10C drop four times the price. N obviously not. Well, the thing is, we don't know, we don't know what, um, temperature is safe for for the junction temperature we don't know like the minus pad eight's got 82 so that's that i think that would be fine i don't i don't even know what the hell the stock ones would do man probably 104 probably just some trash you know what i mean i don't even want to bother putting the stock ones i don't want to take this whole thing apart again just to see how shitty the other ones are i'd rather just people to be be able to compare with their own numbers right so i do have some 13 watt per meter kelvins on the way i don't know when they'll get here though but i have 13 watt ones i'm going to test this um in the future but what i'll do is 2080 ti is fucking sick i can't wait to get that uh extreme going dude um well, yeah, of course, hash rate is going to go up when you increase power limit. You have to. You have to find the optimal curve of your power draw versus your hash rate. Because if you go like this, you're just going to draw too much power for no hash rate, right? Um. So, yeah, anyway, I got 13 watt meter Kelvins on the way. What I'm going to do with these ones is I'm just going to put these ones on the wife Strix because right now she has the minus pad eights and she gets 80 C on her junction temperature. So it's nearly identical. So I have, I have two, what's the word here? Case scenarios? No. What the hell's the word here? Two, uh, Wow, I'm drawing a blank here. What the hell do you call it when you're experimenting with so many products? One, I, I have one sample. No, sorry, I have two samples of minus pad eights uh, getting the exact same temperature, right? So I can confidently say that if you get minus pad eights for your 3090 front and back, and with an MP5 works, obviously, then you'll get anywhere from 80 to 82 Celsius right i can i have i've done this on two different cards now right i think this is fine i don't know the fact that the fact that this can go down to 72 with the fuji polys is interesting that means it can go lower that means that means the junction temperatures like limit is the actual transfer out of the memory chip right so you can improve it you can that's the thing so when i get the 13 mil uh watt per meter kelvin ones i'm gonna put these on my wife's strix then i'll be able to report back um like the difference between 13 to 17 i doubt there'd be that much of a i'm like 13 or 15 is probably the sweet spot to be honest g lids i couldn't i couldn't get to save my life dude no g lids sample size yes that's it that's it uh my 3080 was stock pads front yeah so like the 3080 and that's the 
and the 3080 only has pads on the front too never mind the back the 3090s are a little trickier right that's why the mp5 works is so the like, key just to have that shit on the back right and uh kitty's around she's sleeping right now i got to get the kitty cam going and the back plate isn't as hot which is interesting you, it, even though it's transferring the heat better the back plate is not as hot so it must be transferring into the mp5 works more efficiently too right so anyway that was pretty much the results of my testing there right any questions on that shit there's not really much to it um twice the price 10 celsius drop and then i don't know if anything in between is worth it yet so i have some 13s on the way couldn't find glid 15s to save my life so um in terms of in terms of what's acceptable for junction temp i have no idea i don't think anyone has an idea to be honest oh yeah dude the 3080s oh, of course there you know how much power draw these things are pulling through the back of the pcb right um oh look there's a description i, did, I never knew there was a fucking description with this shit maximum junction temperature amongst all memory chips this is the internal junction temperature thermal throttling start oh yeah also check this out my memory temperatures on the icx sensors also went down by 10 celsius across the board like all all of these went down by 10 celsius so it's like the icx sensor all went down by 10. bam gifted tie to sub oh sh the hell <laughs> it's a mod what the fuck <laughs> that's hilarious thanks so much bam my man and then uh junction went down by 10. so these seem to these seem to go up and down directly correlated with each other you know what i mean sub twins two kingpin free months what a life i know dude has it been two months since i banned all those fuckers can't even remember now it has been a good two months man the discord has been way more fun and chill and a lot less dick measuring too it's good it's good stuff my back is kind of tender yeah so oh also i got an extra Oh, I only put it up an extra 50. I think I got an extra 100 megahertz out of that because of the temperature drop. But I'm testing in 25 megahertz chunks. So I got it up to 50 right now. But I'll confirm that later. But um, you reduce the temperature of the memory chips and you can increase the frequency when mining. So I got an extra 2 mega hash out of that. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> 